I want to show you a quick comparison between my ESOP MIG welder and my ex Laser Lab laser welder working on an old 1970s rusty British car. But before we go any further, I want to make it really clear this is the absolute first time that I have set this thing up with the welding equipment on it. I have never laid a bead with the laser welder before. I've used it extensively for cleaning basically every piece of rusty metal in my shop, but I've never tried welding with it. So I thought I would try it today on this old British rust bucket. Now, first, let's take a look at the MIG welds. So if you've worked on old Japanese cars or British vehicles, then you're familiar with chasing holes and laying tack welds in various areas of the metal to try and control the heat till you end up with a solid bead that you can grind down to get looking something like this. But you still get heat transfer that spreads pretty far out and I mean, that's not the greatest looking, obviously. Now, a pro is probably gonna do a lot better than I can do, but let's just keep in mind, I'm a dude in the garage playing with a welder on an old rusty car. So that's the best that I can do. Now let me show you the laser welds. Now, I've got three that I want to show you, and the last one is especially the important one. Now this one here is a very first bead that I laid, and I did absolutely no setup on the machine whatsoever. I turned it on, whatever setting it came with from the factory, that is what I used. And even though it looks like it's high, it's actually not. It's actually quite low. It came out not bad. Now this one here doesn't look great, but this was a giant gap that I had to try and fill. And again, I don't know a technique for using a laser welder to fill a gap. So this was just attempting it to fill it. And, and that's what it came out with, which isn't bad, all things considering, because that is bronze brazing in there as well. And this side of the metal is very rusty and it never blew through. So I can only assume that with more practice, I'm going to get a lot better at that. But this last weld, this is the one that absolutely amazed me. This is the first time I tried to lay a half decently long bead. I turned the heat up a little bit and take a look at this. We've got full penetration right through the back on this and look at the heat spread. It's not even the width of my finger. On top of that, I'm not gonna have to do any grinding on this thing whatsoever because that is dead flat all the way around. I am quite impressed considering, like I said, this is the very first time I've tried to use this thing. So it makes me wonder if these things in the near future are going to completely replace the MIG welder for bodywork or thin sheet metal work. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.